I would often hear that Nicaragua was the safest place in Central America, the safest country in Central America. Um, it's also the biggest and with the, the smallest population, at least when I was there. Uh, it still had about five, six million people, but it was a bigger country, and so I don't know if that impacted it. Um, not as dense. Manawa, I'm sure, got pretty dense, and there was crime in the city, but it was still felt relatively safe. You had to be careful. My fifth area was actually really different. Most of my areas were really, really safe. Um, my fifth area was different, my, my one unique area, and it was Reparto Chic, which I don't know if it is in the south or the north mission now, but it was considered like the most dangerous area, but it had like that fama or just the reputation. And it, it was a little bit different, like there was, uh, you, you'd see little like gangs, so there, it was just kind of a messier area, there'd be trash everywhere, some poor areas right next to some rich areas. Um, and... Um, you had to be careful. We were really friendly with the gang members or whatnot, so I think that helped just being friendly with them. Um, I think uh, missionaries are really protected down there if you're careful, and um, you know, they'll usually leave you alone. Um, there were just a few moments, and a few instances where it got a little tricky. Um, someone was drunk, you'd shake their hand, they wouldn't want to let go. Eventually they let go. This one guy that was drunk again um, went up to me and my trainer and said that he fought gatos or cats like my trainer back in the war. But you know, I think it was just drunk and talking. Um, we eventually kind of separated. Um, sometimes other people might protect you. Um, so I'm sure there's areas that you, you have to be really careful, but as far as, um, I know there are a lot, I feel like there are a lot more gangs in El Salvador and Guatemala than in Nicaragua. The most dangerous, there were student protests, we had to stay home sometimes, there were students burning the buses, but demonstrations one time for, for some kind of demonstration they were doing, but that was like the only time we actually had to stay indoors. So, most of the time I felt pretty safe. Um, in Nicaragua and I was in one of the most dangerous parts of the city and I, I still felt it was okay. I don't know if they would have sent sisters there but you know I'm sure you have to rely on a lot of protection you know and, and also just being smart and staying away from demonstrations if you feel the spirit. I mean because you know there's drugs and alcohol does things to people so if you feel the spirit to stay away from a certain house or area just listen to it and you should be fine. But I know generally Nicaragua is a safe, safe place. I know there's a different government president now. I don't know if things have changed dramatically, but yeah.